Hey, good morning you guys. I am starting off the vlog here in a bathrobe, fresh out the shower. Um, I started this vlog earlier when I woke up at like 5.30 to go to the gym, but I got like imposter syndrome and I was like, why am I filming this? Like, what am I doing? But you know, we're just gonna beat that. We're gonna upload this week in my life. I've been wanting to do this forever. Um, anyway, I'm Sophia. If you guys don't know, I um, am off all social media. So this is kind of weird for me to be doing vlogging and posting about my life when I'm not even on social media but I've always loved vlogging and like YouTube since I was a kid and I've just wanted to always, always get back into it and I currently have my photography business so I thought this could be like a perfect way to kind of like show my photography business while also like showing my clients my personal life obviously we're fresh out of the shower so yes but um yeah I'm Sophia all student also so I'm currently literally in a dorm right now which is wild so you guys can kind of see that side dance professionally as well so I'm just kind of excited I'm gonna be doing like week in the life stay in the life whatever um kind of fits but um yeah I just got back from the gym I made my protein smoothie um I don't want to say what I put in here um put like a triple berry mix and then I do just like frozen fruit from Target and then I do like protein powder I do bloom greens Celtic salt which has been great for my migraines and then like the Chobani yogurt drinks they have like 20 grams of protein it's great so I love them and then, yeah today I have a bunch of meetings with wedding clients today so i'm literally meeting with like a bunch of 2025 20, couples which is wild so i'll be showing that so i have to get ready at my first calls at 10 and then i and then i also have a meeting for my internship that i'm doing this summer so just a bunch of like meetings today so i need to be energized and ready to go because i just need to be on today so we're gonna get ready uh, i'm gonna do my devotionals for the day we're reading luke so it's kind of good to go through the gospels i'm really excited a bunch of meetings a bunch of work i'm also taking a math class which has been challenging or just throw some music in the back also if i'm looking at the viewfinder sorry i know people hate when you do that but i'm feeling this is just doing me really ready so anyway but yeah we're gonna get ready for the day coming at you full in bathroom and we're gonna about to glow up so let's do it Recently, I've been watching like Lauren Snyder, Cindy Adams. I've been loving her vlogs. Remy Ash and Alicia Marie. I grew up with them, so it's fun to like watch their vlogs. And then I just found this other girl. Uh, my friend danced with her in South Carolina, and her at is Nicole D E S A N T I S. She just started her YouTube, and she posted like an NFL cheer in the life, and I just watched that, and it was so fun. So it's fun to like compare like what other NFL teams do so it's super fun so I'm gonna keep watching this vlog and get ready so enjoy I hate this right now. I got my smoothie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my supplements for the day. I take these like all the multivitamins and I take two fish oils with a vitamin D. Also, my roommate, she's going to, she's on the dance team at my university and she's going off to nationals this week, which if you're a dancer, big deal. I've been watching the U, I've been watching Ohio. I'm from Minnesota, so I got some Minnesota pride. I'm not from Minnesota, I'm from Wisconsin, but I'm in Minnesota. Minnesota is the dance world. And you know, I haven't seen Ohio's yet. I'm excited to see FSU, LSU, obviously, Tennessee. What else? There's another one I'm excited, but UDA is this week, so it's a big week. So my friends. go on a trip and she can pack those snacks on the airplane and everything so that was kind of my thought process but we'll see anyway be quick 9 a.m creeped up on me like super fast um but i like answered all my emails at the gym i like literally went on the treadmill and like answered all my emails on my phone 
so I checked off like a bunch of my to-dos so really today is just meeting with clients and then getting ahead on homework and stuff so I'm excited so just come along for the day I feel like this is maybe more of a day in the life so we'll see if I make that I feel like it's gonna be long enough because like, I'm chatty I talk a lot anyway please be the milk. Sorry for like the mood lighting, but I finished my eggs. I have, eggs aren't really a, a aesthetic, but welcome to college life. So there's a bread smith on like right where I live, and I love their sourdough. So I'm gonna have like two pieces of sourdough. My dietitian for my dance team was like, sourdough has probiotics, and I'm like, oh, sourdough is healthy. But like in the back of my head, I'm like, I know it's not the best, but it's whatever. I'm really trying to save money and not go to Starbucks every freaking day as an excuse. So I got these like caramel like curry cups. So I'm gonna try this and then I got like um a little like chocolate like creamer thing. Like so I'm hoping that will taste good. I just like know Starbucks will always taste good when I go and I know my order and I'm like just like how do I make that at home? But then also one of my friends got like an espresso thing, so I'm really excited to like play with that when they get back and I'm gonna buy like Nespresso pods to put in there. I'm gonna do my devotionals. Um, I go to River Valley and we do this thing called soap. And so I did it when I was young and I've never heard another church do it until I got to River Valley and I was like, that's how I know this is my church because I literally, I don't know, I just felt nostalgic. So we're reading through Luke, so I'm reading two chapters of Luke. I think today, let me whip out my Bible. Also, we always have like our room, it's never, we don't turn on the big light, like that's a thing. So you guys are just gonna have to deal with this lighting and I love it, I love the purple, it's my favorite, obviously, that's why it's on. Um, we're reading Luke chapter 13 and 14. So I'll read through that. I'll give you guys like some of my takeaways um, But so far it's been really good and just If you are starting to like read your Bible and you don't know what to read just start with the Gospels Matthew Mark Luke and John um, Those are really great to just like give you like, the story of Jesus and like just what we're supposed to follow as Christians um, And then also like Psalms and Proverbs are really great too if you want to read get into your Bible more. Go to the River Valley Church app. It's literally on there and they have soap every day if you're trying to get into your Bible more. This I've been doing consistently since September and it's been incredible because I can just like drop scripture when I'm like in conversation or whatever. I've also been reading like some Christian books and it's so cool to just like drop bits of wisdom on people and be like, oh God, like I learned that. Like it's so cool to like, or just like be able to use it in conversation like oh i read this in scripture i read this in this book that like quotes scripture and it's like just so cool i don't know that's just me geeking out about jesus so just trying to make a dent in there as well so i'm gonna finally make this freaking coffee and then do my devos meet with this client and then probably take a little power nap or just watch i've been watching the walking dead it's a little scary but it's good and i've also been watching like hard knocks on and off because i am a football girly i do love football so I love watching Hard Knocks and like this Miami Dolphins coach is something else. I can't figure him out. And every time I watch, I bring up that I watch Hard Knocks to like the guy or something. They're like, so what do you think of the coach? And I was like, hmm, great question. Like I saw this TikTok and it was like the Miami Dolphins coach looks like the guy who like was a king at Madden and then like became an NFL coach which is like kind of funny because it's kind of how he looks like which Madden is like a football game if you're a girly on here it's like a big football game yes I'm gonna read my bible and stop procrastinating um it's been really good yesterday I was like a little distracted but today I feel like I don't know I'm just ready to like hear the Lord speak through me um we're also doing like 21 days of fasting and prayer so I'm gonna do that as well actually so I gotta like block out a lot more time for my devos now but I don't mind that Kind of tell me just like 
like you and your fiance and all that. So yes. Okay. And yeah, I'm under his uh, Zoom. You're probably like, who is this? Yeah, you're good. I was like, I'll just admit, we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, maybe this was a a blessing for yeah. you to somehow become your own boss. And I've been, you know, looking for other ways on my market. I mean, uh, affiliate. Okay, just right my meeting. I'm sending the follow up. Um, I'm sending the follow-up email right now with the contract because she wants to book with me she is incredible she just she has a two-year-old daughter she's so cute and it was literally perfect so i just booked her so i'm going to miami in next in october of 2025 um yeah i'm really excited it just makes me think about like i'm currently dancing professionally obviously and i just like think about i'm like well, what if there's like a game that weekend so it's like okay like I need to like think about that. I'm so excited. So I'm going to North Carolina in April for another wedding. And she's like, the speed you work at is insane. Thank you. Okay. I'm actually really excited. So my destination packages aren't coming with a second shooter, but she decided to book one, which I'm actually really happy about just cause this is my first wedding of the year. Um, so I'm really happy that like, I'm just happy that she's sending a book with the second photographer just in case um so yeah so yay and i'm shooting with my favorite second shooter which is delita she is just incredible we just get along so good we barely we didn't know each other first time we met each other was a wedding day and we just are amazing we just work really well together um yeah so i'm just really thankful for that sorry it's okay so i'll be shooting like 22 weddings this year i did just need to go full-time i really want to drop out of school also i'm still eating these eggs they're definitely cold I'm gonna take a nap. I am so tired, but yeah, this is a day in the life of a photographer and full-time student. Literally debating dropping out of school every day and going full-time, but it's okay. And of course, Cassidy Lynn, like one of my favorite photographers, just released today. Ten ways to go full-time. I'm like, bro, stop. So it's snowing. It's finally snowing, guys. We didn't have snow on Christmas, and now it's snowing. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty outside. Hey y'all. Uh, so I had my two meetings, took a little nappy nap, a little power nap, a little watch the Netflix. And now I'm gonna ch Let's go to Starbucks, shall we? Oh, I literally almost forgot my phone. Not me saying I'm done getting Starbucks, too. <gasps> oh, to the windows. She say hi to Ella. She's in the kitchen cooking. College life. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna try and vlog in the Starbucks and see how self-conscious I'm at. It's in Minnesota, people don't vlog here. <laughs> This vlog's gonna be so long. Maybe I'll just do a day in the light. Honestly, we'll see. Okay, Slay. You got an angle? It's gonna look be a fire angle. I never thought I'd be a rhinestone steel wheel cover. Here I am. Here I am. Rock me like a hurricane. Also, I'm losing my voice, which is not ideal when you have a bunch of meetings. I think this is literally gonna fall. Cause I was so sweaty after my workout today. I was literally red in the face and I'm never red in the face. Even my instructor was like, oh, nice to see you. She's like, I never see you on a Monday. And I was like, okay, break my heart, Amanda. It's okay, she called me out. Cause sometimes I skip my Mondays. All right, big bump, here we go. <sighs> my car creaking. All right, we'll see you at Starbucks.
I just finished all my meetings. They went amazing. Booked a wedding to the Dominican Republic, so slay. Um, now I'm vlogging in public and I'm terrified, but it's okay. Um, now I'm gonna go get a spray tan really quick. I'm literally starving. I'm so excited to eat. I've left over Domino's, so that's what I'm gonna eat. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a um, little Monday in my life. <laughs> Brother, where are my keys at? Okay. <laughs> oh, I will see you guys in another vlog. These people are all judging me right now. It's Minnesota. Sorry. It's Minnesota. People don't vlog in Minnesota. I don't think people realize that. And I'm even from Wisconsin. People don't people don't vlog here. It is it is crazy to vlog in Wisconsin in the Midwest. Oh Midwest girl, that should be my where is my tan in motion? Where is my super suit? Where is my super suit? This is literally where I die. He shows me in my trunk and I die. You all have a beautiful night and thanks for watching this vlog. Love you, bye. This person's watching me. I'm just gonna let him pass. I smiled. All right, bye, guys.